Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, yes, as you can see, we're talking about PHL, PHL vacancies. That's what the great chance for you. I'll tell you why it is a great chance for you. It's after a long time, notification is out from this. Almost 400 vacancies are there, including for BTEC, which is engineering trainees, supervisor trainees with a diploma. Okay. So I'll tell you why this is a great opportunity. Okay. So let's get into the details quickly, the notification. Just check the link in the description for the notification page or else Google it for BHL career. Then the first link, go for this. The detailed notification is here, recruitment for engineer trainees and supervisor trainees. Engineer trainees is for BTEC graduates and supervisor trainees for diploma people. Okay. Now the detailed notification is given here. I'll just take you to that and I'll show you the importance and I'll show you the beauty why it is great and the syllabus. Syllabus for both is also given here. Let's quickly go to all of these. Let's quickly go to all of these aspects. So first, let's get into the syllabus. Let us get into the syllabus or notifications. Let's see the notification first. How many vacancies are there and all? So I'm going for the detailed notification. Yes, here you go. These are the vacancies for recruitment of 150 engineer trainees as per the breakup okay though it seems like electrical only 25 are there electrical only 25 are there there is there are different levels of screening also for this let's see one by one let's see one by one okay for diploma people for diploma electrical it's 55 for diploma electrical it's 55 you can apply for both you can apply for both okay and uh, the salary, look at the salary guys, the eligibilities and everything is given here. 27 years is the upper limit for the general category. Okay. And if you're having post-graduation, it is 29 years. Okay. If you have MTech. For supervisor trainees, it is given here. Yes, uh, departments, fine, fine. Uh, plus five years if it is uh, reservation category. Okay, person with disability. Guys, in our, in our academy also, there are some people, you should apply definitely for this. I'll tell you, there are great chances why it is a great opportunity. I'll tell you very shortly, very shortly, I'll tell you. Okay, and yes, look at this. Selection process. Selection process is one is to five. 1 is to 5, they'll select from the written test for an interview. Okay, there will be an interview for this. CBT computer based, computer based test for 5 vacancies. For 1 vacancy, they'll call 5 people, 1 is to 5. Okay, so it's not that only 25 people will be called for interview. It is high number. Okay, uh, then again, what else? What else? What else is further? What else is further? Salary, yes, that's a huge salary, man. Good salaries are they giving. Okay, basic pay itself is 50,000. It is according to the fifth, uh, seventh pay. Eighth pay is gonna come. Then payment is gonna revise. It's gonna be much higher. Enhanced salary is something close to 160,000 at the entry level. At the entry level, once eighth pay comes, I think it's gonna be significantly high. Okay, so careful with this, careful with this. So that's one of, one of the reasons why it is good. Okay, application fees, just 1000 rupees, apply for it. Every one of you should apply and the dates are like this. Application closing date is this month ending and the exam dates are 11, 12, April, 11, 12, 13, April. Okay, in the month of April, you will get the exam. Now comes the beautiful, beautiful part, the amazing part, the exam pattern. Let's see the exam pattern. Let's see the exam pattern. So from now, we're the beginning of Feb, Feb, March. So you just got hardly 60 days. 
in 60 days, you have to be ready for this exam pattern. This is an exam pattern. For engineer trainees, you will get 240 questions. You will get 240 questions with the 240 mark and duration of test is 150 minutes. That is what the key thing means for every question you'll just get close to 40 seconds per question. So it's not like a gate exam or something for every question you'll have almost four minutes of time. No, it's not like that. You will just have 30 seconds maybe because at the beginning you'll, have, you'll take some time and all. So more or less you can say 30 seconds will be there for a question. Just 30 seconds. Means by looking at the question, you should be able to answer it. By looking at the question, you should be able to answer it. Now let's go to the syllabus. Let's go to the syllabus because they will not give you critical questions, more deeper questions, more numerical type questions. They will not give you, this is for sure, you will not get more in-depth questions. They will get over, overall idea how far you are good at it. The conceptual things they will be asking and out of all of these questions related to uh, your subject is 50% remaining reasoning, general knowledge and general English. Okay, this is the breakup of questions and it will have a negative marking of one fourth. Now the key thing is what is the syllabus? What is the syllabus? You got this exam pattern. The exam pattern is really amazing guys. Okay, this is a good opportunity for you. Because if you already know the concepts, you are struggling to solve problems, but you have good concept or in order to check your concept, you can appear these exams. This exam is like amazing mock test, which will help you to give you a job also. Amazing job also. Okay. Let's see the syllabus for engineer trainees. Similarly for supervisor trainees, 150 questions, 120 minutes. 150 questions, 120 minutes. Okay. Now let's look at the syllabus guys. Let's look at the syllabus. All details are given in their website clearly. All details are given in their website clearly. You can check it out. Career, BHEL career. Links are given in the description. You can see that as well. So engineer trainees for chemical. Let's directly go to electrical. Let's directly go to electrical. Yes, it's over here. It is over here. Electrical engineering syllabus. See this guys. Because it's impossible if, if you aim for 240, if you have, you have to go for uh, this exam with a nice strategy. I'll talk about these strategies in the upcoming sessions, upcoming lectures. I'll talk about these strategies for now. Let's, let's talk about just the syllabus. How to handle the syllabus and all. We'll talk in the subsequent lectures. Okay. Uh, yeah. Electrical circuits. You hardly have eight topics. This is elective means electives as in generally in, in, you know, in your BTEC. Uh, yeah, you must have got some electives, right? Like EHAVs, EH, EH, AC subjects, I mean, HVAC subjects, facts, fuzzy and all. Fuzzy is not normally given in your electives. It's, I think, yeah, it's also elective, I think, right? So, apart from these electives, these are the common subjects. You don't have the measurements here. Power electronics is there, analog is there, digital is there, power systems is there, machines, power systems, machines. Without these two, I think it's impossible to expect any paper. And then signals controls, EMF, electrical circuits. So these, 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 these topics are pretty much in line with your any exam preparation. If you're, if you're from Telangana, if you're from Andhra, if you're from any other state, because Telangana, Andhra, you're going to get notifications shortly. Tomorrow I'll talk about uh, AP notification, uh, AP Transco, because we started a campaign regarding AP notification. So we'll talk about that in the next video, tomorrow's video. Uh, we'll talk about what are the findings, what are the outcomes of, uh, uh, you know, what we are visit uh, to those people, meeting those people. Anyways, we'll talk about that in the next lecture, uh, tomorrow's session. But it is going to come up, guys. AP is going to come up. Telangana calendar, revised calendar is going to come shortly. There you will get the notification of uh, uh, this transco also. For those people, you have to make this exam is 